V-sit straddle press, um, what you want to do is stack up your shoulders right over your hips. Make sure you're sitting on your sits bones nice and tall. Um, this variation of a press actually is harder than a standing press because you are really working your ability um, to sit up nice and tall, uh, which is uh, definitely impacting the hip flexors and the abs. So if your hip flexors are tight or weak, this is going to show up here in the V-sit straddle press. Um, also, if you have any thoracic spine uh, immobility, it's going to show up here as well. Um, so what we're doing in this position is we're taking the, the bell into rack position here, nice and tall spine, and you want to keep tension in your lower body as well. You can either point your toes or flex your feet, but keep those legs contracted because total body tension is where good pressing is going to come from initiating from your lap into a strong lockout. Now, if you're having trouble maintaining this upright position with your back in this position, you can elevate your hips. So what I mean by that is I can take a weight plate or a yoga block, depending on the height that I need, so if I put these yoga blocks together and sit just on the edge of those, it elevates my hips higher than my legs, creating a better um, ability to keep upright. So anyone who's leaning back as they sit in their hips, uh, in their straddle V-sit uh, position, you want to try to take that away, elevate your hips to where you are nice and elongated. So now. I'm in a much better position if I were leaning back before to keep this posture nice and long. And then as you get stronger and more mobile, you'll begin to take these blocks away and even, you know, uh, shorten the, the height of whatever it is you need to elevate with down to a small weight plate. 